Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a small disk of mass small m is attached to one end of light's inextensible cord which passes through a frictionless hole uh, in a frictionless horizontal table top at the other end of the cord is attached a weight of mass capital M initially the disk is moving on a circle of radius capital R fine with an angular velocity omega if the hanging weight is pulled slightly downwards and then released it will undergo small amplitude oscillations okay find the angular frequency of this oscillation okay so the problem here is with this disk okay so first let us analyze the motion of this disk suppose initially the motion the disk was moving at a constant radius r with a constant angular velocity omega fine now if that weight of mass capital m is pu pulled slightly downwards suppose uh, it is slightly below by a distance x from its mean position the radius which was initially r becomes r minus x resulting in change of the tension right and this tension doesn't matter it is increasing or decreasing uh, applies no zero torque because it is the force passes through the center so as there is no torque with respect to this center so so angular momentum will be conserved so initial angular momentum which is m omega r square will be equal to the final angular momentum that is m omega prime r minus x whole square right so we have uh, one working formula here if you look closely then then you can understand that the as the capital m mass performs a simple harmonic motion in the vertical direction the radius of the circular motion of this disk also varies simple harmonically resulting in formation of this kind of wave okay i know the diagram is not that great but i hope you get the idea right so the radius of the circular path is varying simple harmonically now as the radius is varying omega prime is changing but the tension is unable to maintain or to provide the required centripetal force to perform a circular motion so that's why actually the radius is changing so this force pulls the mass away in the radially outward direction trying to bring the radius as capital r but uh, as it gains some kinetic energy in the radial direction so it doesn't stay at capital r the radius increases further becomes r again i hope you get the idea that means if you stand on the center you will see that this mass is performing a simple harmonic motion but while standing on the ground you will see that this mass is performing a simple harmonic motion as well as a more about a circular motion so ultimate motion looks like this wave form okay right so while standing on the center if i write the free body diagram if i draw the free body diagram okay we get t prime a centrifugal force m omega prime square r minus x we are ignoring the coriolis effect here so we can write t prime minus m omega prime square r minus x equals m times a where a is the acceleration towards the center because at the same instant the lower block capital m is performing a vertical simple harmonic motion so for this mass mg minus t prime will be equal to capital m times a so we have this equation and this one just we will add these two equations so we will get this one fine so now we have omega prime square here we can replace omega prime from the first equation that we got by conserving angular momentum okay so just put the value of omega prime omega r square by r minus x whole square so omega square r to the power 4 by r minus x whole to the power 4 r minus x it makes it 3 taking r common so r cube 1 minus x by r whole to the power minus 3 okay as x is small we will do some binomial approximation okay multiplying m omega square r with these two terms so we get this one so initially if you uh, remember the initial diagram or the initial diagram that was given here initially what happens that the disk of mass small m was performing a circular motion so the tension initially it was t 
it was pro providing the required force and it was also balancing the weight downwards. So, m g equals to m omega square r. So, these two things get cancelled out. So, the final expression of acceleration looks something like this. Okay. So, this is our angular frequency. So, the final expression for angular frequency is this one. Okay. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and if you like the video, give a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Peace.